Let's get that sound of, an, sound of an airplane out of the way. How's everybody doing? 6 a.m. in France? Amazing. Beautiful. Hopefully my audio is good. My video is going to be good here in a while. Thank you everyone for taking the time out to join this webinar. It's 6 o'clock. So I just want to see. Um, the audio is good. Okay, I bet the audio is good. No response means the audio is good. Awesome. Now, just got to figure out how to get my video on and then we will continue with this webinar. Let's see here. All right. All right, perfect. The video is good and we are live. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, thank you everyone for, again, taking the time out of your busy day, busy schedule. Is the M25 simulator from SoftFX? No, it's not. It's not. So, so, so we're gonna wait about five more minutes. And in about five more minutes, we're going to continue on. And those of you who stay till the end of the webinar, there's a huge surprise for everybody. A mega, mega surprise. Let's see what else settings I can do over here. So we can um, adjust this. Ooh, ooh. Right. 
We can also do opacity. Very nice. Position. Okay, perfect. Um, send the link. Send the link when no matter what. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the stream. You're welcome. Did you sell gold last night? Nope. No, nope. no gold sells for me last night. But um, this is going to be... So where should I put this one? I think we should put this right over here, right? Yeah, right here. Right here is fine. Make it a little bit bigger so I can talk directly to everybody. Okay, this webinar stays public or do you make this private? This is going to be made private. This webinar is going to be made private after it's finished. So everyone who's here will get a recording of this webinar. Just follow your video that start making profit. Awesome. That's amazing. Today we're going to go over. So Today, actually, what we're going to go over is how exactly I trade gold, you know, I'm like you know, um, how I hold positions, what's the thought process that goes through my mind when I'm holding positions, you know, um, managing risk. I hope the week that we're going to choose, there's going to be a lot of volume in that week because we need volume, right? And with volume, we'd be able to kind of like identify that, okay, can we hold trades longer? Can we kind of like, you know, uh, take back our risk, how to add positions to a trade, how to um, maybe lose less when a trade is going against us. So it's going to be fun. So we're going to simulate one full week and I'm going to break down every trade opportunity that's going to be there. Do you focus on the high and the low of the previous day? No, nope. I don't focus on any highs. I don't focus on any lows. I just focus on simple price action and that's something that you're going to see over here. My RR is uh, more than one to one. No Zoom session. If you didn't see it, then there's no Zoom session. Okay, let's get this show on the road. So the first thing I want to do is, um, the first thing I want to do is maybe make this video smaller. All right, there we go. Okay, so we're going to choose gold. And uh, so, so we're going to trade gold, close the, this is the MT5 simulator. So anyway, let's start simulation. We're going to choose gold over here. What's the money we should start with? I think we should start with something like realistic, right? Something like maybe uh, 5,000. 5,000 is going to be good. Yeah, 5,000 is going to be good. We're going to start with 5,000. 5,000 uh, New York close and we're looking at a uh, fixed spread of around 1.5 history on the chart we're going to see around 300 um, stand chart. oh first of all we need to do decide the date what date are we going to do so let's take a look at this over here all right random date generated so what we want let's do a random date over here so of course we're going to be simulating 2023 because the one thing about simulation is that you don't want to go past more than eight months nine months because market dynamics are always shifting and when you're moving into a newer market dynamic the older one is not there anymore so let's do it from like i don't know um, december 22 till um well this is august right now so we're gonna go till maybe june right so 30th june let's do july 2023 we only want sundays because that's when the market opens all right now, now before we start the simulation i think it's also going to be important to talk about when there is volume in the market because having volume in the market that's what's really going to help you make profitable trades. So total dates we want are 20. Now I want help from you guys, okay? I want some help. What dates should we do? Or should we toggle them again? Toggle them again. Let me know what dates. 30th April, 16th April, 
28th May, 18th June, 5th March, second week of March, Liban Abil Jabiri, second week of March. All right, you got it, brother. 19th March it is. Oh, someone is saying 23rd April. We can't do 23rd April. Okay, we'll do March. 19th of March. There we go. Got it. We got our answer right there. 19th of March, 2023. March 19th. We're going to start with 5,000. Um, standard chart. Now, I'm only going to be looking at the 15 minute, 30 minute, 1 hour, and 4 hour. Okay, here we go. Now we want our handy dandy um, templates. So we want to see our templates over here. Colors are going to be color on white. And background is going to be black. Grid is going to be none. Foreground is going to be white. All right, there we go. And we don't need volume. So we're going to remove volume somehow. Just bear with me over here. Yeah, I don't know how. So anyway, we're looking at gold now, right? So the first thing we need to identify, so the first thing we need to identify on gold is what times are there volume in gold, right? So there are only, I think, I think there are like three or four times when there's volume in gold. And this is where you guys need to make notes, 100%. You guys need to make notes today. The first time when there's volume in gold is when you have the Asian open. When Asian opens, there's a lot of volume in gold. Second time is when you have pre-London. Let me make this a little bit bigger over here. Right? Second time is when you have pre-London. Pre-London pumps in a lot of volume for gold. Third time is, now the third time in London open, you can have volume on gold if pre-London had no volume, right? If pre-London had no volume, then you're going to have volume at London Open on gold. Again, the next one is going to be pre-New York, right? You got pre-New York, you got New York Open, you got NYC Open, you got London Close. So these are like some times when there's volume in the market, but it doesn't mean that all the time there's going to be volume at all these times because sometimes there's going to be no volume and then you're going to skip on to the next time when there's going to be volume. And then you're going to skip on to the next time and the next time and so on and so forth. So... Let's start this simulation. Now, this is a, um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to give you guys some sort of a background in this simulation. This is only for MetaTrader 5. That's it. The simulation is only for MetaTrader 5. And I want to bring this over here. And I probably want to bring this over here. This is where we're going to be drawing our zones. Now, first thing I need on my zones is a rectangle that we can choose. And again, guys, listen, if you stay till the end, you stay till the end of the webinar, there is a huge, huge surprise for everyone who's going to be here in this webinar. Till the end. So, all right, perfect. We need this. And we need our lines to be a little bit fatter and we want them to be a little bit yellow, right? We want them to be a little bit yellow, a little bit darker shade of yellow right there. Awesome. So, um, if you guys see these lines here, these lines are basically news events that are supposed to happen. So, if you want to get rid of these lines, all I got to do is click calendar and um, turn them off. See? Toggle on. Toggle on. Perfect. All right. So, let's do this. Now, whenever, whenever we're starting a simulation, we need to look at what time are you really going to be trading. So in this case, we're going to be going from pre-London, London Open, all the way into New York Open. That's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to forward the candles right here to go all the way into um, pre-London time. And pre-London time, according to this, is going to be around 8 a.m. So even if you look at the sessions, right, we look at the sessions right here, you'll see this is, we're running in a Sydney session right now. So we're just going to forward this, forward more and more. And we're going to go into right here. We are into pre-London right now. So this is where we're going to start to do some analysis. And then we're going to see if there is any price action set up 
com coming up here or not. So the first thing also I want to do is I want to maybe scale fix this and uh, templates I want to change save it to Raja Dark. There we go. Let's go to 30 minute time frame. Perfect. Awesome. Now, just by looking at the daily time frame, what's the trend on the daily time frame? Where do you see price moving just based off of daily time frame? So remember, we're only going to trade for five days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Right? So what's the trend we see on the daily time frame? The step number one is to identify the trend. And the trend on the daily is bullish at this point. That's it. We don't take a look at, um, we don't take a look at, okay, if it's bullish, where should we go? What should we do? No. Now we're going to look at the four-hour time frame, right? Four-hour time frame trend is also bullish. And we all know that whenever you have a bullish, um, like, you know, price action or, or you have uh, price action that's moving bullish, the first thing you need to see on the lower time frame is to see if we're creating some sort of a support. So if we have a bullish confirmation right here, we need to see if we're creating a support on the four hour time frame, which, you know, quite frankly, we do see that we are creating a support, right? So if the daily is bullish, four hours creating a support, there's a very good probability that price can possibly continue to move up, which is in this, you know, 130 pip range. Now, let's take a look on the one hour time frame and see what more information we can get. Looking at the one hour time frame, we can identify that we are creating a support. And at the same time, there's also a support being formed right over here on the 30 minute time frame here as well. So if we're forming a support on the, on the 30 minute time frame here as well, which means there's a very good probability that the next candle can maybe wick down and then continue to push up. But here's the trick. The trick is whenever you're looking at price action, you're looking to see what's the probability whether we're going to continue to push down or, or whether we're going to continue to push up. These are things that we always, always, always have to keep in mind. So just by looking at price action right here, the first thing that we can identify is that there's a support formed at 1930. And if you do break below the support, how big is this range? Between 1972 and 1969 how big is this range right this is a 33 pip range if we break below let's say 1969 right here your range now becomes a 64 pip range so i think there's a very good probability that if we do break below let's say 1972 or we do break below this candle right here, there's a very good probability we can continue to push up. Now, let's take a look at some more confirmations on the 30 minute time frame. Looking at the 30 minute time frame, now we have a pretty good support. Now, here's the thing about support resistances, right? When you're looking at supports, supports on the 30 minute time frame are going to be much stronger than the supports on the 15 minute time frame, right? So I'm only going to look at the support on the 30 minute time frame. I'm going to trust the support on 30 minute time frame. And then we'll see whether price can continue to go up or down. Now, the 30 minute is also creating a resistance right over here. Now, the idea is if we do break above, let's say, 1975, there's a very good probability that we can continue to push up in this scenario. So I think the best thing to do at this point is just wait. Wait for what? Maybe wait for, for a candle to close above or wait for a candle to kind of like, you know, close below the support. So that's all we're going to do. The whole idea is just to wait. We're just waiting to see whether candles are going to, you know, um, close above or close below. By the way, guys, there's a huge surprise waiting for everyone at the end of this uh, webinar. And I'm very excited to give the surprise here to you. So uh, there we go. All right. So the 30 minute candle is about to close. And boom. The 30 minute candle has closed bullish right here. Now, looking at this, there's a very good probability that we can continue driving up from this scenario because we had price come down, we created support, and as we created support, this candle has closed above. So I think it's going to be very simple. We're going to risk, let's say, 1.5%, right? 
and we're going to execute a buy. What do you think? What do you guys think? There's clean range to the left hand side going all the way, like, you know, 35 pip range. Your stop loss is going to be below the previous candle because whenever you're taking a buy, you're making sure your stop losses are below the previous 30 minute candle. So buy goes in, stop loss goes below the previous candle, take profit, it doesn't matter. And the reason why take profit does not matter is, so if I open this right here, the reason why take profit does not matter is because, so okay, I'm going to remove this, is because we have a bigger clean range going all the way up till 1984. Is he simulating? Yes, this is a simulation. All right. We all agree with this buy? There's no sales. Because whenever you're looking at price, you're, you're asking yourself two questions. What's the probability price can go down versus what's the probability price can go up? In this scenario, there's a very high probability price can go up and there's a very low probability price can go down. But at the same time, we're always looking to see how are we going to manage risk. Right, so you can see right here, five minutes have passed. We're moving in profits now. Four pips, five pips, six pips. Remember, guys, this is a 36 pip range, right? It's a 36 pip range. 36 pip range, and there's an opportunity for price to continue all the way up to fill this entire range, which is a 100 pip range. So the 15 minute candle is about to close. Let's take a look at the 15 minute candle. 15 minute candle has closed a very strong bullish candle. Um, the 30 minute candle is still open. So we're going to wait to see how this 30 minute candle is going to close and then we're going to decide what are we going to do. So slowly we're coming up to this uh, resistance area 1979. We're up about 2%, 27, 28 pip profit. So see right here, we're coming up towards our resistance area. Whenever we're coming up to our resistance area, we don't know whether price will continue breaking up or we don't know whether price will reject this area. So what's the first thing we got to do at this point? What's the first thing we got to do at this point? Stop loss at break even? No. Make a note of this. If you put your stops at break even without securing some profits, you're going to have a very bad time. So instead of closing 50%, I'm probably going to close around 80%. Close 80%. Put stop loss at break even. And let the rest run. That's it. That's all what I'm going to do. Now I'm just going to let the rest run. Right? And if we continue on till 1987 or we continue pushing down at break even, then so be it. What can we do at this point? Nothing. Right, so look, we're at 53 pip profits. The 30 minute candle is still open. We're still running up 52. Oh, wow, look at that. 79, 84, 83, 77, 78. We still got some time left over here. This is pre London volume time. Now you guys see why I take my trades at pre London because of volume at this time. Look at that 83 pips. So what should I do at this point? Secure my position, right? Do you guys want me to secure the position or or you guys want it to let it run? Fuck it, we'll let it run. We have stops at break even, you know, it's perfect. Look at that, 30 minute candle, just continuing up. Now, here's the thing. If you miss this trade, right? If you miss this trade, actually we're gonna secure these positions right here. 111 pips. The first trade in the simulation, 111 pips. Look at that, man. $217. Easy. How much did we risk? How much was that risk? The risk was what? 1.5%? We made 4.3%. The risk was 1.5%. We made 4.3%. Awesome. Now, here's another scenario for everyone, right? Another scenario is if you missed this trade, what are you going to do? You have to wait for price to retrace, create some support, and then continue pushing up. And we're going to wait to see if that really happens. Let's take a... So, so also remember, I didn't look at the five-minute. 
I didn't look at the 15 minute. I only focused on the 30 minute. And that's all we're going to do in this webinar. We're only going to focus on the 30 minute because 30 minute has strong confirmations. That's it. We're only going to focus on the 30 minute. Look at that. That 30 minute candle is still pushing up. We're not worried about this candle pushing up. We just want price to come down, create support, and then continue to push up. Um, this is sped up, I'm, I'm assuming, so there is less emotion here. Emotions don't exist in the market. If you think that you're emotional in the market, you need to stop trading. Trading isn't for you. There's no such thing as emotions in the market. There's only one thing. You have to wait for, for price action to print something that you recognize and then you have to execute on it. That's what you got to focus on. There's no such thing as emotions. If price is moving up and you want to take a buy and you get stuck, you take a loss, then trading isn't for you. Like at this point, let's say hypothetically speaking, if we missed out on this trade, let's take a look at the sessions right here, right? London Open is about to come up. If we missed out on this trade, we just got to wait for a retest. That's it. All we got to do is wait for a retest. If that retest happens, then we can practice taking another buy. That's the whole point. That's the whole point of this simulator that you can test out your strategies, right? So we're just going to wait for candle to create some of a, some sort of a support. And then we'll try to see if we can take a buy or not. So we're going to speed up the candles here and you can see how price is just coming down. And that's fine because price went up. We need a support form and then we can continue to push up. Right, so I'm just going to forward this candle so we can close uh, the 15 minute candle right here. See, we closed bullish on the 30 minute. Let's take a look on the 15 minute. Nothing. Look at the candle. What do we know about the candle that closes with no uh, wick on the top? What do we know about that candle? No trade. So we're going to wait for the 30 minute candle. That's it. We need a 30 minute candle to come down, create support, and then continue to push up. So I'm going to forward this candle. Okay, coming bearish, no problem. I'm going to forward this candle again. All right, so the candle has closed a bearish candle here. Now, if we can create some sort of a support, I think we can continue pushing up. Let's take a look on uh, the left-hand side. Oh, there's no information there to the left-hand side. Let's take a look on the one hour, daily, four hour. Okay, we have no information to the left hand side because of simulation, so we didn't download we didn't download all that data, right? No problem. No problem. So this candle is open, the 30 minute candle, and we're gonna see if there's an opportunity to take some sort of a trade. Oh look at that. We're trying to break above the high at this point. We're trying to break above this high. But it's in the first five minutes. So, yeah, no. We're going to hang tight. It's in the first five minutes. The 15 minute candle has closed. Let's take a look at this. 15 minute candle has closed bullish. Okay, we've missed a trade, but that's still fine. We still made 4.3%. We made 4.3%. So, what do we want to do by making 4.3% in one trade in one day? Do we go on to the next day or do we stay till New York session to take a trade? I'm going to wait a little minute because, you know, it takes uh, the YouTube uh, is uh, delayed over here. What do we do? We hang around or we move on to the next day? I think we're going to move on to the next day. No, no New York, no New York session. No, we're going to move on to the next day. Yeah, come back tomorrow. Exactly. That's what we're going to do. Wow, what the hell is going on over here? Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, we're going to move on to the next day. That's the correct answer. Um, let's see here. So, okay. Yeah, look at that price action. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't this price action beautiful, the way it's moving? Look at that. Right? Look at the session. We're moving in New York session now. So crazy. Yeah, so we're going to move on to the next day. This is going to be 8, 5, 
six. There we go. We are at the next day right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the same analysis. So we're going to go off the daily. So let me recap what happened, right? The daily was bullish. So we looked for buys. That's all we did. Daily was bullish. We looked for buys on a small time frame. Right now, still, the daily is bullish, but we're creating some sort of a resistance up over here, which let's take a look on the four hour now. Okay, look at the bodies of the four hour. What can we tell about the bodies of the four hour candle? This was a bigger body. The body became smaller and the body became smaller again. What does this mean? I want you guys to make some notes here now, right? This is a completely free webinar. So I want you guys to make some notes. Whenever you see the bodies of the candles get smaller, right? Whenever you see the bodies of the candles get smaller, it means the volume moving up starts to die a little bit. So we can maybe, maybe look for cells. But if we're going to look for cells, what do we need on a smaller time frame? Resistance forming. We need some sort of a resistance to form on the smaller time frame. That's what we want. We need some sort of a resistance to be formed. Let's take a look on the one hour time frame here, right? One hour is creating some resistance. And we have some support formed on the one hour time frame, right? So if we look at this range on the one hour, this is a 81 pip range, right? Let's take a look at this information on the 30 minute time frame. Remember, whenever you're looking at the 30 minute time frame, smaller time frames, you're always going to see some more information. So on the 30 minute time frame, the candles are already coming down. We have another minor support on the 30 minute time frame. How big is this range? 40 pip range, but the candles are. So what do we know about ranges, right? So here's the thing. So you have a resistance at 1984. You have a support at 1979. And now the candles are in the middle of a range. Is it good to trade in the middle of a range? Is it a good idea to trade in the middle of a range? I don't think so. I don't know. No. Because if you want to trade, you either want to take a buy at the top or you want to take a... No, you either want to take a sell at the top or a buy at the bottom. But we're in the middle of a range. So we're not going to do anything. We're just going to... We're just going to wait around and we're going to wait for some more information. That's all we're going to do. We're going to wait for some information and then that's it. See, this 30-minute candle is about to close. Boom. 30-minute candle has closed. Now ask yourself two questions. Always ask yourself two questions. Can I take a buy? The following question, can I take a buy? Okay. If you say yes, has the candle closed bullish on the 30-minute time frame? No, you can't take a buy. Again, another question. Can you take a sell? Yes. Okay. Then the next question is, where are we? Can we take a sell? We, we are at support. So we cannot take a sell. So we cannot take a buy and neither can we take a sell. So what do we do? We wait. For what? For something. For candles to print in a way that we recognize and then do something. So I guess this could be our target for price to move down here, right? So the candle is about to close here now. We're still in the range and there's absolutely nothing happening. Look, we're still in the range at this point. Now, all we want is maybe a candle to close below the support so we can take a sell in this 30 pip range, right? That's it. We're just waiting for a candle to kind of like, you know, close below the support. That's all what we're waiting for. Let's speed it up here a little bit. We're waiting. Oh, look at that. Look what's happening. We're breaking below this area, right? We're breaking below this area. Now, someone can have a really good idea. Oh, let me take a sell over here. But if you do take a sell, right? Now, here's the thing. When you take a sell or when you take a buy because you think price is going to move that way, sometimes you're going to make money, right? But what's going to happen is that then you're going to start to believe that since you want to trade that way without any candle closure or without any like you know candle confirmations you're going to believe that this is going to happen over and over and over and over again when in reality that's not going to be the case 
right? So it's better to wait for confirmation. I'm not going to go through the 15-minute time frame. Look, even if you take a sell here, your stop is like almost 30 pips. No. For me, stop losses have to be maximum 25 pips. Maximum 25 pips. So it's okay. Even if price, like, you know, does something, like, look at that. Right? So just waiting. 30 minute candle closed at the support. We broke below. Of course, maybe I missed this trade. That's totally fine. But all I want is price to create some resistance. Oh, wow, look at that. This is amazing. And the reason why this is amazing is that if we can create resistance and then I can take a sell, I think I can have a very good trade coming all the way down towards 1966. That's it. Just waiting. We're in a game of waiting, guys. Like, don't let these moves scare you. Don't let these moves tell you that you're missing out. Never do that. All these candles coming down, don't let these moves tell you that you're missing out. Because trust me, whenever you take a dumb trade, right? Whenever you take a dumb trade and you lose, the next time price prints the perfect setup. And then you're too scared to take that setup. It happens to a lot of you guys that you're too scared to jump in the setup that you really wanted to jump in. So we're just going to wait. We're just going to wait. Right? The candle is about to close. Boom. We got London open over here. We're just waiting. We're waiting for price to create some resistance. If we create resistance, there's a very good probability we can continue to push down. Look, there's a 61 pip range over here. Wow, look at that. Candle moving up. No problem. Because maybe it's moving up to create resistance. Because look, look what's happened. Look, look what's happened right here. So let me explain this to you guys, right? We had support. This candle closed below support. Now we're waiting for this candle. If this candle closes below support, even if it closes bullish, a break below this low, we can take a sell for price to continue pushing down. Or if we close back in the range, then this could be a fake out where price can continue pushing back up. Now we got two scenarios. All we got to do is just wait. Is just wait. And trust me, there's a very good trade on the horizon. We just got to wait. That's it. Look at that. Even though the 15-minute candle closed in the range, we're not bothered about the 15-minute candle because 15 minutes are weak confirmations. We want the 30-minute confirmation, the strong confirmation, the Raja confirmation. <laughs> That's what we want. And don't forget, there's a huge surprise at the end of this webinar. A huge surprise. Look at that. Look at that candle. What are we going to do? Are we going to close above? Are we going to close below? We're going to close above, close below, boom. Look where the candle closed. Look where it closed. It closed below 1976. What do you think is going to happen now? What? What is? It's game over. This is game over for price. I mean, if we break below this low, there's a very good probability we're going to continue pushing down. And a lot of you guys are saying smart Raja confirmations. And yeah, we just got to wait. We just got to wait for price to break below the low. We cannot take a sell. Because the candle has still closed bullish. We can't take a sell. I'm not going to sell now. I'm not going to sell now. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. And then we're going to take a sell. We're going to wait for price to break the previous low. And then we may look to take a sell. Not right now. Not right now. The 30 minute confirmation. Because what if we don't break the low? Then what? Then we're going to be stuck in the sell. Right? All right. Look at that. We're coming down. Oh, we're rejecting. Coming down. Coming down. Rejecting. Coming down. Let me, let me make this slow here a little bit so we don't miss our entry if we do break the low. Because it's very important. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Right? Waiting. We have to wait. We have to wait for that perfect opportunity. We have to wait for that perfect, perfect opportunity. We're coming down. Boom. Right there. See that? Right there. A sell is going to go in. Let's take a look on the 15-minute time frame, 30-minute time frame. So even if I do take a sell here, now where is my stop loss going to be? My stop loss, in it. remember, in this sort of an impulse entry, 
the stop loss is not going to be above the previous candle, which is 60 pips, is going to be above the current candle, which is 45 pips. Now, that's a pretty big stop loss, right? That's a pretty big stop. So what are we going to do? We're going to look at the 15-minute time frame, and we'll see if we can get a smaller stop right here. It's a 33 pip stop. So what are we going to do now? We're going to lower our risk. Since our stop loss is bigger, we're going to lower our risk to 1%. Right? 1%. Stop loss above right here. Take profit all the way down over here. And of course, we're going to remove take profit because what if price continues pushing down? And we're going to let it play based off of the 30-minute time frame. That's it. That's our trade. We broke below the low impulse entry, 1% risk. That's all there is to it. Let's speed it up here a little bit. Wow, look at that. Right? Running nice. How much pips are we in? 20, 25, candle close with no wick at the bottom. Um, like, you know, if we want to let it run, Let's put stops at break even, way up 4.5 or whatever. We're going to close partials. Go to partials. We're going to close, let's say, 80%. And that's it. Stops at break even. Oh, wow, look at that. We're continuing to push further down even more. Right? Simple. We took one trade yesterday, and now we took a second trade here today, and just waiting. By just waiting. That's it. We just waited. Now all we got to do is just wait for New York session. Oh, look at that. We close above the support. Are we going to continue moving? Or what's going to happen? We're probably creating some sort of a support for price to come up, create some resistance, and then continue to push down. But we already made a good percentage, so we're going to let the trade run. We're at 5.7% 7, right here. 5.7%. This is the support we have here. So I think now we're moving into, slowly, we're moving into New York, pre-New York. And we'll have to see... What's going to happen over here? Oh my God, this is my first time watching your webinar and I'm finally understanding and seeing where my mistakes have been made. This simulator is truly what I need. But it's not available at this point now. You have to wait. There's a huge surprise at the end of this webinar for everyone. Huge surprise. We're just waiting for the 30-minute candles to close. Let's speed it up here a little bit. Forward this candle. Let's forward this candle. Oh wow, look at that. Let me explain to you guys what's happening now. Look at the time. Now, obviously, price is consolidating, right? Can we all agree that price is consolidating? The unanimous answer should be yes. We can all agree price is consolidating. Perfect. If you look at the sessions, we're moving into New York session. So we've consolidated throughout this area. Now we're moving into the New York session. When now? Let me ask you this question. Let me ask you a question. When... Is price most likely to break out of a zone? And when is price most likely to break out of consolidation? When? When there's, there are only two ways. Number one, when there's volume in the market, right? Number two, when there's news in the market. Let's take a look at news over here. Do we have any news for USD? We have no news for USD. And if someone asks, does CAD affect um, gold? No. So we have New York Open that may break price out of this area. So what's going to be the best trade to take at this point? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. What's going to be the best trade to take at this point for price to break out of this, break out of the zone? What's going to be the best trade? You're right. When price breaks below this low, this previous low right here, right here, once we break below this low, I think that's going to be a very good opportunity for price to continue pushing down. And we're going to wait. See right there. We're breaking below this low. So this is a very good opportunity for an impulse entry for price to continue pushing down. And now we're going to lower our risk. Now here's the thing. 
here's, a lot, here's the huge mistake that you people make. The huge mistake is when you're winning, you increase your risk. No, 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 no. Don't do that. When you're winning, decrease your risk. Decrease it. Because now we're at the same day. We got to decrease the risk because now we're taking an extra trade. So I'm going to decrease my risk. I'm not going to increase my risk. I'm going to decrease my risk because I already have a position running at this point. So we're going to decrease the risk. Impulse entry. Impulse entry because it's New York Open and we're anticipating New York Open volume to continue driving price down. That's all what we're doing. Look at that. 10 minutes in, 12 minutes in. We're just anticipating it to drive price down. That's all what we're doing. And let me bring the stop loss here as well. Right? Perfect. That's it. That's all we got to do. Make a layer. What layer? So we're just going to let it run till NYSE open. And that's, oh, wow. Oh, we came up over here a little bit. So let's put these above this area. Accept. And let's put this one is here. And let's put this one above this area. That's it. Let's forward this till London close. Awesome. You see that? We lowered our risk and we were able to let positions run. The first position, 0 0.03, ran 200 pips. The second one, 126 pips. Close everything. Right here. Look at the percentage gain. Do you guys see the percentage gain? Do you guys understand how... Uh, did he choose a random date? Yeah, we did choose a random date. Um, we had people here select the date for us and then we chose that date. That's what we did. Right? We risked 1%, 0.5%, 1.5%, and that's it. That's it. Okay, let's move on. And by the way, for, for people joining here, new, just remember, there's a huge surprise for everyone who stays till the end of the webinar. Let's move on to the next day now. Oh, wow. Look at that. We continue to push down. All right. So, Raja, I see you have a window open. Where? This one? Okay. This is the YouTube chat. And this one is this. How I trade gold. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is real. Anyway. Let's move on to the next one over here now. Pre-London session. Um, no, no, no. This webinar is not going to be on YouTube. I'm going to remove it from YouTube. I'm going to remove it from YouTube. So this is, what you're, this is all what you're going to get. Okay. A new day, new opportunities. Let's see if we have any news. We have, oh, look at that. We have CPI news coming up. Guys, Every question that you have about price action, this webinar is answering all that price action questions. How to make your supports, how to make your resistances, your lot sizes, your risk management, everything. So look at this. News coming in at in around two hours. That's what they say right over here, right? Around two hours. All right, let's take a look on the daily here. What's the trend on the daily? What's the trend we see on the daily? We're bullish, but we're coming down. If we're coming down, then maybe we may continue to push down. I don't know. I don't know. Let's take a look on the four hour. What's going on on the four hour here, right? So this four hour candle, it closed bearish. Now, here's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to close your eyes and I want you guys to imagine or picture where the next four hour candle can go. What can you picture? I, I don't need any ifs. I don't need any buts. Can you picture the four hour candle to wake up and then drop down? Right? Wake up and then because we have poor connection. Okay. So let's take a look on the one hour time frame. Looking at the one hour time frame. Oh, look what's going on over here on the one hour time frame. 
we are creating a support on the one hour time frame right here and we are creating some sort of a resistance on the one hour time frame right here right so we are in this range this is a very difficult price action because we're in a range and the um, one hour candle is a small body candle right here let's take a look on the 30 minute here now 30 minute here 30 minute is creating some sort of a support i guess right here right so this is our recent support if a 30 minute candle is creating the support this is our recent support and this means we can continue to move up but there's this another resistance right here which will make things a little bit difficult so yeah i don't know i don't know i i yeah this is a difficult price action i want to see if we can break above or break below you know i don't like this i don't like this price action yeah this application is for all asset classes for everything all currencies Raja, please remove this webinar from YouTube. That's the plan. Don't worry. Oh, don't remove the... Oh, <laughs> my bad. My bad. All right. The 30-minute candles are closing. See the candle close with a small body. Very difficult. Extremely difficult. We don't know what's going on over here. Either we're going to close below support or we're going to continue to push up. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah, this is still pre-London session. London Open is going to be in uh, one hour, so we're waiting. We are just waiting. If you guys remember the previous two trades we took, they were excellent confirmations. Oh, wow, look at that. What's going on over here? So this is 22, 21 pips. Yeah, not interested. There's no need to force force anything. Let's take a look on the four hour here. Four hour is now coming back up. One hour is coming back up. Yeah. The 30 minute, we're not getting any any confirmation or whatsoever. Pre-London is two hours before London open. Play a movie off of that forehead. Yeah, don't worry. You can play football on this forehead. <laughs> Hope you're not Somalian, buddy. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, we're coming down over here now. So, this is the support we have. And, yeah, we're just going to wait over here. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. We're just waiting for confirmations. That's it. All right, so let's speed it up here a little bit. Um, I kind of want to forward the candle to see how the 30 minute candle is going to close. Oh, we went all the way down on this 30 minute candle. Looks like this is going to be tough. So what else can we do? I mean, if we close back in the range, that could give us an opportunity for a fake out trade because then this move down basically becomes a fake out yeah probably look at that the candle's about to close candle's about to close in five four three two one fake out who knows about fake outs they're easy they're difficult but as the professional I am, as the professional I am, I think this is a really good fake out. Why? Because we have a 50 pip range. It's a 50 pip range for this potential fake out or whatever this is. You know, it's like a 50 pip range. So now if I do take a buy, again, now we're going to move on to our regular risk. 1.5% 1 1 risk, nothing big. If I take a buy, what's my stop loss? My stop loss is going to be 40 pips. Now, this is a big stop loss on the 30-minute candle. So we're going to look at the smaller time frame. 
And this one is going to be 18 pip stop. Isn't that lovely? 18 pip stop, risking 1.5%. Now, since we're moving up in this week, I'm no longer afraid of hitting my stop. Because even if I hit my stop loss, look at this. Even if I hit my stop loss, how much am I going to lose? I'm going to lose 1.5%. What's 1.5%? What's 1.5%? Nothing. I'm going to lose 1.5%. We're already up 9.4%. All right. We've broken above this high now. Now... Since we've broken above this high, there's a very good probability we should continue pushing up to the other side of that range. Range should be small? No. This is a big range. I mean, it's relative, right? Because there's a lot of volume in gold at this point. Oh, look at that, where we are at this point. We're, at, we're, we're tapping into this area. And since we're tapping into this area, <laughs> look... Risking 1.5%, how much did we make? So let's close another 80%. Same idea, put stops at break even. That's it. That's all, that's all what we're doing. That's all what we're doing. And every trade here has been more than more than one to one risk reward. More than one to one risk reward. Right? Look at that. Look at that thing though. Look at that thing go and not go. Now we're at this resistance. See, that was a very good, a very good decision to make. Let's see how this candle moves. We're back in the range, right? Now we just gotta wait. That's it. There's no more trade to be taken. We're not closing above the range. Now, I'm gonna teach you guys something called. Um, I'm gonna teach you guys something called. A relative support resistance, right? No, 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 no. Not relative. Um, what's another word? Uh, we did this in the boot camp. Uh, there's a relative and there's a variable support resistance, right? Variable support. Look at this. Look at the support 1938, right? We had the support 1938 around here. But now, don't you think this is a new support form? A fresh support form? right here right don't you think that's the fresh support form and if we ignore our price action don't you think if this candle breaks below this low we have a 59 pip range for price to move down don't you think don't you think that's going to be a really good idea if we do break below this low we can move down 58 pips i think so i think that's i think i mean that's going to be excellent right that's going to be the same trade we took earlier on right over here for price to move down right perfect that's what we're going to do <laughs> that's that's exactly what we're going to do if we break below the low i mean if we break up then that's a whole nother story yeah i don't think we're going to break below that low forward forward yeah nothing happened right so now let's move on to the next day Oh, we're still in the trade. We haven't stopped, been stopped out yet. How long can we... Oh, we got stopped out. Anyway, let's move on to the next day here now. See, garbage price action. You see that? We had one fake out, took the buy, and then just garbage price action. Let's move on to the next day. Wow, we did break up. Was this news? Oh, yeah. Oh, this was FOMC. How did we not know there was FOMC coming so we could have traded FOMC? How did we not know? We didn't know. Whatever. We don't trade news, right? Uh, if you're a good trader, you don't trade news. No trading news. But also remember, guys, we have maybe 30 more minutes left for the simulation. And after the simulation is finished, there's a huge surprise for everyone who is on the stream. And also tell your friends about it too right now. Because if they're not on the stream, they're going to miss out on the surprise. There's a huge surprise for everybody. All right, pre-London time. Let's take a look on the daily time frame. The daily is pushing up. Awesome. Trend is bullish on daily. We're moving up at this point. Right? Let's take a look on the four-hour time frame.
four hour candles are also pushing up but the four hour is coming up too i'm not going to remove it from youtube chill if you say this again actually i'm going to remove you from youtube spamming here in the chat all right there we go <laughs> that was it all right so four hour is approaching a resistance which is 51 pips away but the candle has no wick on the top there's no wick on the top what do we do we go to the one hour time frame look at the one hour candles here look how the one hour candles are forming do you guys see how the one hour candles are forming i'm just going to extend this resistance here you see how the one hour candles are forming the candles are the candle bodies are getting smaller and smaller so if the candle bodies are getting smaller and smaller we need to see what the 30 minute candles are saying right now looking at the 30 minute time frame what's the first thing that we see that this 30 minute candle has closed above the previous candle and we have a support right here so this means there's a very good opportunity for price to continue pushing up and the stop loss is like 29 pips okay no problem let's take a look on the 15 minute on the 15 minute stop loss is 29 pips no problem we're going to lower our risk because the stop loss is bigger and we're going to execute a buy because we have a 63 pip range for price to continue pushing up and take profit goes all the way up over here except obviously yeah we're going to keep it we're going to keep it there and that's it right that's it that's all we're going to do candle is forming oh look what happened look at the 30 minute look what happened to the 15 minute close bearish so i guess we're going to close partials right here close 50 percent manage risk right we're going to manage risk because we wanted price to move up oh look at that what's happening the 30 minute candle closed bullish but look at the size of this 30 minute candle what can you tell about the size of the 30 minute candle right the size of the 30 minute candle is small which means maybe the volume going up is decreasing so what are we going to do we're going to close another half because we don't want to take any chances man we don't want to take any chances we have to manage risk i have to be really impatient when it comes towards risk even if price goes up i have to be very impatient with uh, with the uh, risky setups i'm very patient with my profitable setups but i'm very impatient with my risky setups so yeah the candle is going to close over here we're rejecting coming down yeah we don't know what's going on over here yeah we don't know what's going on over here yeah see we close bearish let's take a look on the uh oh wow so we're still in this trade over here let's put stops to break even buddy we're making like four dollars over here guys four dollars we're making here four dollars there's a huge surprise waiting for everyone at the end of the stream um is there any reason why you don't use trend lines or indicators yes the biggest reason is oh damn okay look at that we eventually did continue to go up 53 pips i think we were correct on that maybe close this right made eight dollars perfect something's better than nothing right something's better than nothing so that's good that's good um yeah so the reason why i don't use any um indicators or trend lines is because i'm profitable how to hold trade bro i scalp and get in profits i can't manage risk the best thing is that close 10 percent and leave the rest running the broker i'm trading this on is dominion markets one of the fastest executing brokers there is at this point dominion markets and also now we're going to move on towards friday oh wow look at that 
just rain, consolidation. Okay, so we're going to move towards Friday, and that's going to be the last trade that we're going to take, and then there's a huge surprise for everyone here today. Huge surprise coming for everybody. All right. Wow, look at that. Okay, so we're going to move towards uh, pre-London, right here, pre-London. Let's take a look on the daily time frame. Daily is still bullish. We're still pushing up on the daily time frame. Let's take a look on the four hour time frame. Four hour candles are basically consolidating, which means if we're consolidating, there's a huge break coming up if we're consolidating. Let's take a look on the one hour time frame. All right, so one hour candles are basically really, really consolidating over here. Look at this. Well, we are consolidating here. So we are in this 36 pip range. Let's take a look at this on the 30 minute time. Since this is going to be the last trade of this simulation, we're going to make this trade count. Wow, look at that 30 minute. Just straight, beautiful consolidation. So I think what we need at this point, I think what we need at this point is for price to maybe, you know, uh, break and close above this area, 1994, or break and close below 1989, and then we're going to decide where price is going to go, right? Because if we do break below, you have a 57 pip range for price to move down. If we do break above, we have a 43 pip range for price to move up. Uh, bro, I can't hold the trade. Don't worry, we're going to teach you this right now. All right, here we go. Candle is about to close. And, and boom. Oh, look where the candle closed. Can we take a sell? No, we closed back in the range. Can we take a buy? Absolutely no. <laughs> There's no buy coming up. So we're just waiting. We're going to wait. We're just going to wait for something that makes sense to us. Yeah, this will go on the market fluidity database. But there's a huge surprise coming for everyone. I just can't wait for that surprise. So look at that. This is still pre-London session. This is still pre-London session. And the candle is about to close. In three, two, one. Candle has closed with a very small body candle, but with a lot of rejection right over here. A lot of rejection looking at 15 minute, but still very, very bearish. One hour, one hour candle has also closed bearish. 30 minute candle. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe if we can break below the previous low, we can go down. Take a sell. Oh, no. Not right now. We have to wait. We have to wait for price to kind of like, you know, break below the wicks or something. For some sort of an impulse entry. See, right there. Right there. Impulse entry right there as we're breaking below the low. I want it to be a little bit more break of a low. Yeah, right there. You see that? Right there exactly right there so we're gonna go a little bit harder on this trade we're gonna go with a we're gonna go with a massive two percent massive two percent risk with this trade so we're gonna go with the sell look at that and we're gonna go with the tp right away obviously we're gonna remove the tp because what if price continues pushing down right stop losses above this candle and also remember, this was a random date that you guys helped me choose. Okay, look at that. We're continuing to push down. Beautiful. 15 minute candle is going to close. Let's take a look at the pip amount over here. 26 pip, 25, 28, 29 pips. Very nice. Look at that move. I guess we can put stops at uh, break even now. Hey. 
Yeah, look at that. We're coming up into this area. Let's close partials. 80%. Close. And let the rest run. So we made $900 in one week on a $5,000 account. We didn't double the account. We didn't flip the account. We didn't make massive gains on the account. I mean, you know, like, relatively speaking, we still made uh, almost like, you know, 17, 18%. But we still made $800 on 5,000 by risking how much? By risking how much? One or 2%. That's it. That's it. Just one or 2% and waiting, waiting for candles to print something that we can recognize. We did not take a trade in a position where we did not identify the candle, you know, closing in our way or whatever. Now, let me close this trade and let me take one last trade. And that trade is going to be that maybe if we can do a retest to take a sell, right? Maybe if we can do a retest to take a sell. So I'm just going to forward the candle. Uh, this is a London Open right here. I'm going to forward the candles to see if we can do a retest. So good, we formed support. All we need to do is a retest. Okay, look, we're, we're, we're pushing up, right? We're pushing up. We need to create some sort of a resistance, right? Oh, okay, look, we're pushing up some more. All we need to see is to create some sort of a resistance and we're moving into pre-New York now. There we go. See that? We created resistance with a huge candle, right? With a huge candle. Let's take a look on the 15 minute. Huh? The stop is going to be way too big. This is going to be a way too big of a stop loss. So we're going to let the candle wake up here a little bit. Right? We're going to let the candle wake up. And since the stop is going to be too big, I'm going to do a little bit of an advanced maneuver over here. And as it starts to break the low of the previous candle, actually, you know what? Since I'm so good, let's just take a, let's just take a 5% sell. Right? See? Now, since we've made gains, we've made gains, right? We've made, we've made some pretty good gains. So I can risk 5%. I can easily risk 5% to see where price is going to go. Let me move this a little bit up higher because even if I hit stop loss, I'm going to lose, what, 5%? That's no big deal, losing 5%. Look at that. Now we break the low. If we do break the low, I think that's going to be good. We've broken the low. I can bring my stop loss in profit now. Now I made hundred percent profits. All right, look at that. We're coming down beautiful. 38, 39 pips. Close this right here. Close this. Boom. Done. Close right here. You guys have seen me close trades in live and then price just rejects, goes the opposite way. I think that's something I did yesterday as well. Let me show you my goal. Oh, I can't show you my gold chart. It's not there anymore, but um, let's see what happens the next candle. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that close. Look at that close. People ask me, so people ask me when to go higher risk. The best way to go higher risk is always when you have made gains, when you have made gains during Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's the only way you should increase your risk, you know, and, um, Normally, I would not do 5%. Mostly, I'd do like maybe like 3%, 2%. That's it. But the main thing about this simulation was to show you guys that you have to wait for price to print something that you have recognized before. Every trade that we took, except for right over here, right? Because the candle closed with a weak body and we didn't really execute the trade. Let's take a look at the stats over here. Let's take a look at the stats over here. Number of ticks in simulation, realized profit is 2,400. Um, total is 24, whatever. Absolute drawdown was this much. Maximum, dra maximum drawdown was 1.3%. Maximum drawdown because we waited for price to, um, we waited for price to create candles that we recognized, right? Uh, gross loss was $4 um, because we managed the risk. Longest winning streak was six. Consecutive losses was two. Uh, look, look at the graph over here. Okay, exponential rise because we had a bigger risk. Close trades. Um, see this? This was the only loss. 
only because we managed risk. Because we managed risk. That's it. The simulator, when I first started trading back in 2016, there was a simulator for an older version of older version of MetaTrader, and I used that to sharpen my skills a lot by a mile. Using simulation, it really helped me sharpen my skills. And I used that simulator for a very, very, very long time. You know, so, um, and then, you know, we moved on towards MT5. There was no simulator for MT5. And, and, and we have like a lot of clients and a lot of people have moved on to MT5. And then they had to look into the simulation and get that. So we have this simulator right here. This is, this is for, this is for, for, um, this is for everybody. So let me see what we have over here. So this is for everybody, right? This simulator, let me see this right here. Um, what can I change over here? So here's a surprise for everyone. Here's a surprise. What's now? I'm just looking to see what's the best way to give this surprise here to you guys. This simulator is for $120. Um, let me see this over here. Uh, I just want to see whether you guys can see the correct thing. Now, this simulator is for $120. Okay? Now, initially when we launched the simulator, it was priced at, you know, we did like a, we did a 15% off in the beginning. We did a 15% off, but then we started to move. And then I talked to my team. I'm like, okay, what's the most that we can do? Right? What's the most that we can do? Okay, no, we can't do 15. We moved over there. Okay, to just to help people trade, we're like, okay, we'll do it for 25% off. So it's available for you for 25% off. There's a link in the description. You can go there. You can get it. You get two licenses with it. It said 25% off with two licenses. Okay? It's going to help you out a lot. It works with MT5. But there's no coupon code. There's no coupon code because it's not 25% off. It's actually 35% off for everyone because you guys took the time and come on to this simulation session. You guys spent some time with me. You get 35% off for the simulator because I want everyone to succeed. I want everyone to be really good at trading. When you do analysis, when you do everything, 35% off for everyone. It's a gift. This is only going to be valid till Sunday. Till Sunday. And I promise you, there's going to be a surprise for everyone who stays here till the end of this webinar. How does that sound? Right? 35. It does not work on MT5, uh, MT4. It works on MT5. You can download the MT5 from the website too. But here's the thing. We still have six minutes left. We still have six minutes left. So here's what I'm going to do. Hey, how are you? I need a direct buy link. We still have six minutes left. And the coupon code that we have is not for 35%. It's for 50%. It's for 50% for everyone. So we're going to get it done for 50% for you guys. And I think this is going to be a big gift. It comes with two licenses. I'm just going to see if something is happening here in the back end. And it um, looks like, looks like, um, looks like, <laughs> looks like you guys crashed the website. And the only problem is now is we need to get a link. We need to get a direct buy link, which we don't have. <laughs> I need a direct buy link. Yeah. To the straight page. Yeah, I guess we didn't uh, realize the amount of people are going to be coming on. So once it does 
come on. The, uh, the coupon code here, I have the coupon code here. The coupon code is, the coupon code is SIM50. All right, let's just do this over here. You can use SIM50. SIM50. Um, it works on parallels. You can get it. This is only valid till, this is only valid to sometimes I do surprising things for everybody, for my team, <laughs> for my administration team, for my marketing team. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're waiting for the direct buy link, which no one is responding to me right now. So I'm just going to try to see if I can get it here myself. SIM 50? No. SIM 50. Yes, perfect. So let's see here. Um, yeah, I have to make this call over here now. Way to buy. Yeah, don't worry. The buy link is coming up. I need a direct buy link to that Shopify store right now. Mac compatible? Um, no, it's not. It's, it's compatible with Parallels. With Parallels, it works perfectly fine on a MacBook. Um, and it only works with uh, MT5. Do I have to buy a license when I change my PC? No, the same license is going to work everywhere. So I think I have the link now. I'm going to paste that link in the YouTube description. But first, I'll have to see whether it works or not. Because if it does not work, then no one will be able to, no one will be able to buy it. That's the trick. Website not working? Yes, because you guys have crashed the website. There are like, there are a lot of people there on the website. You guys have crashed it. So we're waiting. How about SIM? No, it's SIM 50. All right. Here we go. Here we are. There we go. And are you guys ready? This is going to be in the description. Right now. All right, there we go. It's in the description now. You can go to this address. Once it opens, all you got to do is add to cart. And from here, you put in SIM 50. Oh, you put in SIM 50, apply. And then you move on to checkout. And checkout is automatically going to cut the price down by 50%. At SIM 50, you get two licenses. This is only valid till Sunday. And it's only for you guys who showed up here today. It's only for you guys who showed up here today. No one else. All right, so take care, everyone. Thank you for coming on. You, you guys have no idea how much I appreciate this. Hope this was helpful. There's no crypto. So take care and we will see you for a live stream probably on Monday. Awesome. Take care. Now excuse me while I try to end this live stream. <laughs> okay, there we go. Link is in description. It's in the description, guys. Just refresh. Um, just refresh the... Uh, Refresh YouTube and you're going to see the link in description.
just refresh YouTube. Again, refresh YouTube. Link, link is in description. The coupon is SIM50. Awesome. Adios.